One travels picking up, which naturally brings up the question of whether or not we need vaccine passports to get around safely. But even if you have one, can you be sure that it's actually legit? 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has a warning about fake vaccine certificates being offered up on the dark web and the threat that it poses to you and your family. There's actually one case that hits especially close to home. It's a frightening scenario that could undermine public health and plans to reopen some parts of the economy. Counterfeit vaccine cards, complete with names and dates. They can look very legitimate. A lot of the cards, at least that we, we found in our research, are you know uh, paper cards with simple logos and information on them. Cybersecurity firm Checkpoint Software says it has seen a drastic increase in the number of ads for documents showing negative COVID results and vaccine certificates, selling for as much as $200 each. So you're really providing information to folks who you don't want to provide it to. One case recently brought to light involves a now former employee at a Tampa website design company. He was outed on social media for what appears to be an offer to sell blank COVID vaccine cards online. A spokesperson here at 1305 Creative in Tampa says they have no comment, but did confirm that that employee was terminated. We checked with local law enforcement, but so far no record of any arrests. The issue is stirring debate when it comes to vaccine passports and perhaps the need for a more sophisticated method to verify vaccinations. Experts point to the potential health threat created by people boarding planes, attending sporting events, concerts, or returning to the workplace using fake vaccine certificates. Who validates it? You're going to need something that's digitized, that has a central data bank, does the government do this? The government here is not viewing its role as the place to create a passport, uh, nor a place to hold the data uh, of, of citizens. We view this as something that the private sector um, is doing and will do. New York recently just launched one up there as well. Checkpoint Software says it's also still seeing advertisements for vaccine on the dark web up 300% over the past three months, they say, and selling for up to $1,000 per dose. 